Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn fires teacher for being gay. On October 13th, the Diocese of Brooklyn fired LaBanca La for, sorry, let me start over. I can't talk today. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's October okay. 15th, okay, wait, Susie. You don't need you don't need to screw, screw anybody who doesn't like it. Okay, just correct it. Don't you don't need to apologize. You're fine. Okay, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Stop okay. interrupting me. I need to do this. <laughs> On October 13th, the Diocese of Brooklyn fired Matthew Labanca from his position as the music director of the Corpus Christi Church Parish in Queens, New York, where he had worked for 16 years. Labanca is a lifelong Catholic, and he had recently married his partner on August 1st. After his wedding, Labanca earned, uh, learned that a group of church leaders were discussing ways to qualify his roles as a minister within the church, even though his roles did not involve religious education or preaching. And you'll figure out why soon. Matthew was ostensibly fired because, quote, he did not comply with church teachings, a requirement for being a minister. Federal and New York state laws prohibit employers from discriminating on the basis of sexual orientation. However, religious, religious institutions are allowed various exemptions to the law, specifically in regards to who is allowed to be a minister. A $20,000 severage package was offered to LaBanca in exchange for signing a confidentiality agreement that would prohibit him from publicly addressing his dismissal. However, LaBanca denied the offer and instead chose to publicize his termination in hopes of raising awareness about these legal loopholes that allow discrimination to continue in the name of faith. All right, I want to first address anybody who wants to write, but if he's gay, why does he want to be a minister? Doesn't he know Christianity is on the blah, 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 blah. I want more gay people to become challenging this, okay? In fact, if even if you're not, be a secret atheist and go try to become minister, like the, these loopholes should not exist, okay? These loopholes, we shouldn't have separate laws just because you have to pin to be a religious institution. This goes against the separation of church and state. The fact that everybody has to abide by some rules and we have certain institutions that don't have different set of laws just because they're religious, that violates the separation of church and state, okay? So no, do not advocate for people who are gay to just abandon these churches. I want them to go try to get the highest positions possible just so that we have a way to challenge these separate standards that we have for religious institutions okay if you're if you're you know gay or lesbian or trans try to get a job if you can i mean in in religious institutions okay and then if they you know tell you tell you that you know your way of life or your val your your existence does not abide by their values. Yeah, it's not your way of life. Your entire identity, uh, <laughs> your nature, your innate characteristics does not <laughs> contradict their values. You're doing you're doing humanity a service by challenging that. You're you know by challenging that legally and setting a precedent for all the other people that come after you. You're making life less miserable for everybody that comes after you. So go ahead, do not quit these churches. Do not not become ministers. Go for the highest positions possible and then challenge them when they don't let you because of the way you are. Anyway, Susanna, you want to say something? Well, I wanted to clarify and talk about kind of the point that's at the, the, the center of this case. So this, in, I wanted to cover this also because the New York Times ran this story, which is quite significant. So here's from the New York Times, quote, it is illegal for employers to discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation under federal, state, and New York City laws, but religious institutions are allowed to favor members of their faith in employment settings like schools and houses of worship. That loophole does not permit them to discriminate on the basis of traits like sex or sexual orientation unless the job in question is a ministerial position. That provides the legal basis by which the Catholic Church can refuse to employ women as priests. 
but in recent years, it has become increasingly used to fire people in same-sex civil marriages from jobs that have not been traditionally seen as part of the clergy. In a statement concerning the decision, the diocese referred to Mr. LeBlanca, LeBanca as a music teacher and minister and explicitly said he was fired because his marriage violates the requirement that ministers comply with church teachings. And he was like, I was never a minister. So that's why I said earlier, when they, when the diocese learned about his marriage, he heard rumblings that they were trying to figure out ways to characterize him as a minister, because if he's characterized as a minister, he can be fired from his job. But he's like, I was a music director. Like I, I wasn't like, I, I was not wow. involved with church teachings. I was involved with a, a secular or a non-religious subject matter. Right. And there's been previous court cases that show that if it's, unless it's related to actual religious teachings, you are not allowed to discriminate against people on the base on, on protected characteristics, right? Because they're not actually trying to imbue the faith that may have discriminatory <laughs> beliefs, right? So um, it's, it's, um, I think that's so slimy to try to like sneak this in, to try to say like, oh yeah, he's a minister now, blah, blah, blah. And I wanna pull up um, the, so a statement on Mr. LeBanca's firing, the diocese provided an excerpt from its employment contract for teachers, which says, quote, the teacher is essential to the ministry of conveying the faith and acknowledges that he or she is a minister of the Roman Catholic faith. Mr. Lubanka said that the church's description of his role is was extremely subjective and not minister with a capital M and that he signed no such contract for his job at the parish. He's, I would say that that's a strong label for what I do. I never labeled myself as a minister. I was never called a minister. So, um, and in general, there are very vague government rules over who can actually have this qualification. So, quote, um, the justification for the firing of Mr. Lavanka and other Catholic school teachers like him is still subject to legal debate, experts said. Quote, there is no government rules around who can be deemed a minister. So it's a really, really broad exemption, said Sharita Grunberg, the vice president of the LGBTQ research at the Center for American Progress, a liberal think tank. The courts are going to have to come to an answer. Is this individual a minister or not? So it just drives me crazy to think that there are people who are working at these schools for decades. And then as soon as the church catches on that they're gay, they will fire them and saying, oh, you minister to children as, as a verb. Therefore you're a minister as a role <laughs> and how, we can how, fire how, you. Since, it's crazy. How, how homophobic can these people be? How homophobic, I mean, even based on their own doctrine, shouldn't you want what you call sinners to be at your church? Like where, where else would you rather them be? Like, like, do you want to be at a church for only the people who don't need it? Like, I don't understand. Isn't the whole point of church saving people? Like, oh, you need saving, get out. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't even, oh God, these people. Um, did you want to highlight anything else? Because uh, there's a comment that is a little bit uh, by D that is not relevant to the story, but I do want to address it. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, okay. So D is saying, D is saying, wait, Armin, you say no to Islam reform, but yes to Catholic reform. Why not more and more leave until obscurity okay i i am not for catholic reform i don't know when you got to that idea from i am for equality under the law okay that's what i'm for this is not this is about activism when it comes to making every the law more secular this is not about making the catholic or any other christian doctrine better because they are incapable of becoming better they are dog they are dogmatic superstitious beliefs uh this is not reforming you know just because people are um have disagree with me on what they're what you know 
on their religious teachings or the fact that they believe in superstition, that doesn't mean I can't support them uh, in their in fighting their legal battles when it comes to uh, fighting against discrimination. Let me give you an example for why I can support religious people in their fight uh, for secularism while at the same time not being for reform. These are two separate things, right? So for example, I am against reforming Islam. I think Islam or Christianity or Judaism or anything else like that it shouldn't be. It's not that they can't be reformed. It shouldn't be reformed. It should like religion should be abandoned, not reformed. Okay, but in Islam, for example, I am for making a law that makes halal meat illegal. Right? Halal meat should be illegal because it's abuse of it's abusing animals. Right? Making halal meat illegal doesn't mean that you reformed Islam. The Islamic teaching is still the same thing, okay? But we made it so that you cannot practice an Islamic value that is harmful because you're living in a civilized society and you're abiding by laws that we consider to be superior to Islamic teachings. If we force you to abide by laws that are that is treating everybody equally and not giving privileges to religious people, that is not a reform of religion that is making religion take a back seat that is basically making religion submit to secular superior secular laws okay religion itself hasn't been reformed religion the only activism we do when it comes to religion itself is try to make more people abandon it but just because we're anti-religion that doesn't mean we ha we can have a separate activism uh, so that one activism is that we try to get be active against religion but another activism separate from that is that we push for secularism. And in our push for secularism, we have no problem in uniting with religious people. Like if we have religious people that are for secularism, even though we on ourselves acknowledge that their agreement with secularism is, is contradicting their religious belief, but we don't have to hold that against them. As long as they are for secularism, we are completely fine in working with them and pushing for secularism. Does that make sense, Susanna, what I said? completely oh <laughs> i love it i only ask you that because i love it when you can <laughs> when you say that uh, yeah. hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.